Way 31's Casey Albritton is live at a polling location, Trinity United Methodist Church. She learned how poll workers are preparing to count so many votes. Casey? Yeah, probate judges across North Alabama tell me at polling locations like this one behind me, lines could get very long tomorrow. So poll workers tonight are focusing on making sure all machinery is in place so tomorrow will run smoothly. It's about three and a half times as many as we've ever had. We're probably uh, expecting the highest turnout we've had in uh, decades. Probate judges in North Alabama say they're seeing record numbers of absentee ballots this election. As of Monday night, Madison County is reporting about 37,000 absentee ballots. Limestone County has received about 6,300. Morgan County is reporting about 4,700 absentee ballots. And Jackson County has received almost 3,000. Obviously, it'll be a labor-intensive day. Uh, I'm sure they'll be quite tired by the time they go home. And Morgan County probate judge Greg Kane says poll workers are spending Monday night putting on the final touches. Our poll workers are already beginning to show up at their polling places uh, to make sure that all their equipment is in place. Limestone County probate judge Charles Woodruff says he's also hired about 70 more poll workers to help. To try to process voters as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Both Kane and Woodruff say they are prepared for any scenario. We've got a staff uh, of troubleshooters uh, that are beyond uh, stand by in case we've got any equipment uh, issues. And despite possible challenges on election day, there's one goal. Make sure that every ballot that is supposed to count gets counted. And with local leaders expecting such a high voter turnout tomorrow, probate judges are asking the public to have some patience as they head to the polls. Live in Huntsville, Casey Albert and Way 31 News.